Today, we're gonna to be trying viral products from Skims. I'm gonna try it out. Yes, yeah, so I'm high beaming everyone. What the hell? Look how small this thing is. It's so tight. Kim Kardashian has broken the internet many times and I think she's done it again with her latest launch of this controversial bra. That's why I'm introducing a brand new bra with a built-in nipple. So no matter how hot it is, you'll always look cold. Some days are hard, but these nipples are harder. And unlike the icebergs, these aren't going anywhere. The Skims Ultimate Nipple Bra. Let's open her up. <laughs> this is what it looks like. I got the color Sienna and the size I went with is a 34D. I honestly didn't know that the world needed a nipple bra because most of the time I'm trying to hide my nipples. But hey, if this is gonna be a thing, I'm gonna try it out. I will say that if you wear this out, be prepared to get a lot of looks. <laughs> OMG, wow. wow. Now I know why people call this a boob job bra because it actually looks a lot bigger and the thing is with, with push-up bras generally is that you can kind of see that it's not as seamless you know you can kind of see where your boobies or the padding is but with this look at it okay if you didn't see the straps it could probably pass for my boobs like I just got work done I don't know if YouTube's gonna demonetize me for this but this is actually not my real nipples okay YouTube please okay without the top so you guys can see what the bra looks like wow okay wow this is giving my girls some new life a good lift that they need after breastfeeding I don't know why I feel like I'm looking at you naked even though you're not <laughs> it feels wrong it feels wrong they make my boobs look huge and obviously perky. Like all the padding is under here, but it's not uncomfortable. It's actually a really comfortable push-up bra. I never go for push-up bras because I don't feel like I need extra volume up here, but I will say that this is made really well. Minus the nipples, okay? They, they do have the non-nipple ones if you guys are interested, but the nipples do make a statement. Let me try it on with a different top so you guys can see. <laughs> well. Yes, I'm high beaming everyone. I don't know what Alfred would think about this. If I wore this and I didn't tell him that was my bra, he'd be like, what's happening, girl? Ignore the high beams for a second. Just look at how seamless the bra is. Like, I'm not lumpy and bumpy. It's actually very seamless and it's giving me like a teardrop implant look, if you know what I mean. Is this wrong to say, but it's kind of fun to touch? <laughs> Honestly, I like the bra, but I don't like the nipple part so much. So I feel like I, I do want to get the normal push-up bra because it's actually so comfortable. It's just so smooth. I'm just not used to having a push-up bra that is so smoothing. You know what I mean? Let me know your thoughts. Are you team free the fake nipples or hide the nipples? I would not be comfortable walking out with this, especially in Singapore, all the uncles and stuff just stare at you. This is just asking to be stared at. But hey, maybe like in America, it's different. Or, you know, you just need to find special occasions for this. Maybe in the bedroom, but then you take it off and my real nipples don't look like this, so I totally catfished Alfred. I actually have a bit of a lopsided nipple situation happening now because of Lila, but I wish they looked this good. Now, I'm not gonna completely diss this bra because there are elements that I like, and FYI, this bra sold out. So there are people in the world that want to show off these faux nipples. Oh, is it cold in here? If you're having a hard day, just think, it's probably not as hard as my nipples. <laughs> Next is the Viral Skims dress. Now, this dress has sold out many times. It's their soft lounge slip dress. Honestly, it just looks like a pretty standard like bodycon stretchy maxi dress. But I did read that it snatches you in, especially when you size down. So I went with an extra small. Let's see if it looks good on me. The material does feel very nice. It's very soft. Do I wear it with my nipple bra? What the hell? I don't know how this dress does this, but it actually gives me a lot of shape. And the material, it feels very thin, but then it, it kind of sucks me in. I've been avoiding bodycon dresses ever since after giving birth because I'm not so happy with these little lumps and bumps, but I actually really like how my body looks like in this dress. Like, 
how? Maybe it's because I have the nipple bra on too. It's just giving me more shape. Do people wear this with a bra normally? Oh no, you guys are gonna see my actual nipples now. Oh, my chest deflated real quick. How do I even them out a little bit? I think they're even now. <laughs> okay, side view without the bra, it's not as impactful, but it's still a very nice dress. Without the bra, it looks more like proportioned. Yeah, more, more proportionate. That's right, Zed. It looks actually really good. It looks really good, right? Now I know why people love this dress. Like, it makes me feel very, like, sexy. And there's a lot of dupes as well. I don't know how they compare to the actual Skims one, but just from wearing it, it feels really comfortable. When I read the name of it, like, a lounge dress that looked like this, I was like, who's gonna be lounging around in this? It's so comfortable that I would lounge in this. Seriously. How is this very different to any other like body dress? You know what I mean? Is, is it, it? see-through? Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, it definitely ain't no pop flex material. It's definitely see-through. I can see it in person, especially when I bend down. It does go sheer because it stretches out. So keep in mind that if you are gonna size down for this, it's gonna be a little bit more sheer. I love that it has adjustable straps for all my short girlies out there. It's the cut, it's the material, it's just this design. I need this in every color, guys. Highly recommend it. Get it, try it yourself. You will be blown away. The next item I got was the Everyday Sculpt Bodysuit. It sucks you in, it keeps you in, and then it just does magic. You may have stolen a bathing suit from a little child, a little baby. Look how small this thing is. What is this even made of? It feels a little bit like crepe paper. Extra small. And it's extra small, that's for sure. <laughs> This is the brown, the cocoa color. Let's try it on. It looked amazing on that girl in the video. Oh my gosh, it's so tight. I don't know how I'm gonna wear this. I can't pull it up. Hold on, I feel like I need to hype this dress up to, to get my momentum. <laughs> Trust the process. Oh my gosh, I definitely should have just gotten the small. Can you just notice? <laughs> It's cutting off my leg circulation. It's so tight. Oh my gosh. Seriously, you cannot be sexy putting on this. Oh, where did my underwear go? It's there somewhere. Wait. I thought I wore it the wrong way. I was gonna have a heart attack that I had to take it down again. Oh my god, it has like little things. I could have unbuttoned it this whole time. Am I such a noob? Oh my god. I could have just put it over the top. No wonder it felt too tight. I was like, that is not normal. This dress is never ending. <laughs> it's a maxi dress. From... It's never ending. <laughs> Definitely sheer. You cannot wear this without nipple covers. Okay, I've got it on. I feel like my nails can just poke a hole in this material. It feels so thin. It almost feels like a stocking material. It makes me look a lot smaller, that's for sure. I just want to wear it with my pants so I can kind of compare because some people wore this and it, their pants were like too loose afterwards. Uh, these pants just fit me snug earlier before and now they're a bit loose. What? Where did my stomach go? Where did it go? Okay, okay, I see, I see there's a little bit of magic in this everyday bodysuit. Could I wear it out like this? Could I? I would love this bodysuit in just like a thicker material, just slightly thicker so it's not so see-through when I wear it. Then I can actually wear it out as well, so not just inner wear, as outer wear as well. The cut is very nice though. I, I feel like Kim Kardashian does really well with her shapewear. I'm just amazed at how much room I have in these pants now. It kind of looks see-through in that girl's video too. When you put it on, don't be a doofus like me, just put it over on top and then clasp it. I was struggling trying to get my thighs in. Now that I have it on, I actually like it. So smoothing. This is just digging into your butt crack. It is, it's digging into my butt crack because it's a bowl cut, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I can live with if it's gonna give me my body shape. I wanna wear it with the lounge slip dress. The slip dress was good on its own, but with the bodysuit, wow, it kind of like snatches me in and gives me more shape. So when you double skim, you get double the effect. But I'm low-key very hot right now. I don't know, maybe it's just too many layers. Definitely gonna keep this bodysuit, guys. I love it, I love the color. It's grown on me. Then I got this mid-thigh onesie made from recycled nylon.
This onesie looks really weird, guys. That's the back. It's got the rouge bum right here. So hopefully it will give me some shape. For this, I got extra, extra small slash extra small because the sizing was in ranges. And the color is oxide. Hold up whilst I unsnap this crotch. Oh, this material is a lot thicker. Feels sturdy. Also feels really weird on the butt. To pull it up. I don't think I can take this up by myself. Oh my gosh. Oh, this one is a lot more comfortable. Oh my God, the butt part feels so weird. It feels really weird in my crack because it feels like I've got just something in there. It feels so odd. I can't explain it. It's not a wedgie. It's kind of like in between a wedgie and it feels like I've got like tissue stuffed in my butt crack. That's what it feels like. It feels kind of crumply, but not a wedgie. And then when I lift my legs up, it just digs in further. The butt is the most uncomfortable part of this onesie. Everything else feels quite nice. So this is made from recycled nylon and I don't know if it's supposed to have all these little lines and marks. I don't know if you can see it on camera. It looks a little bit textured, but then it doesn't look like it was meant to really be like that because it's in random spots. The material doesn't look as uniform as it could be, but it could be because it's recycled. I don't know. I also can't stop looking at my crotch area. Is it not like... Okay, it's not a camel toe, it's just a... It's just a camel toe. It's a camel toe, right? I'm trying to like be nice about it. It's a freaking camel toe, isn't it? It's a camel toe. It is. I feel like I love the top half and I don't really love the bottom half so much. The top half, I love the cut of this. I'm not wearing a bra, I've just got nipple covers on, but it's lifting because I don't know if you can see here, but there's some sort of design element here and I think that lifts the boobs a little bit more. Also, this part cinches in my waist, gives me more of an hourglass figure. And then the bottom half, it just kind of goes downhill from there. <laughs> I think it's just because I'm not used to the bum rouging. I like rouge on my face, rouge on my lips, but not rouge on my bum. I will admit though, it makes my booty look a lot more rounder than it is. In my mind, I really wanted this to be something I could wear out. Kind of like my Popflex onesie. It's comfortable to wear out and it looks nice. So I was hoping for the same with this, but I don't know, maybe this one has to go back in the return pile. What do you think? Could I wear this out? Kim needs to make a top like this. I don't know if she does already, but this as a top is really nice. Should I keep and wear it as a top? Then it's just kind of awkward that I've got this like uncomfortable butt region. Top's nice. Conflicted. Help me out guys. Do I keep it? Do I return it? Ah. This Skims haul definitely did a lot better than Kylie Jenner's brand, Kai. If you haven't seen that try on haul, do click the video on screen and remember to subscribe. I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.